this is Stampy, and welcome to another Let's Play of a Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. Grand Prix time, everybody! I'm so excited. I, I don't know. I always get excited when I'm about to play this game. It's something about the menu and the music and seeing Mario's face there. It gets me all very excited. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do another 100cc race. You can see I've got a, a few more characters unlocked. I unlocked a Lemmy, but I'm not going to be Lemmy, as hilarious as he looks. I'm going to stick to being a baby. I'm going to be Baby Mario today. Oh, isn't he adorable? And, oh, what have I unlocked? I have... Cyber slick tires, right? I don't think Baby Mario suits that car. Uh, should I? Should I? Should I be a bike? I'm not ridden on a bike yet. There's that bike or this one. Now let's go on this bike. And what tires should we go for? Should we go for that bike with comically small tires? And uh, let's go. Let's go crazy and have a Bowser kite this time. There we go. <laughs> Quite a weird selection. And I have a choice now. So I've done. I've not done the flower cup on 100cc, but I have done it 50cc. I did this special cup. I've not done the shell cup yet. And uh, the first one is Moo Moo Meadows, which is probably one of my favourite maps. So let's go and do this one. So I'm um, Mario, baby Mario, on my little tiny motorbike with my little tiny wheels, my Bowser kite, playing on Moo Moo Meadows. We're going to have ourselves some fun. If you've not seen my past few uh, Mario Kart 8 videos doing the other Grand Prix, I'm doing okay, actually. The first one I did, I got a silver trophy, which is, of course, for second place. And then my second one, despite the very difficult maps, I managed to get a first place by one point. I was Baby Peach, and I beat Big Peach uh, by just one point. And so hopefully I can keep that up in this race. And look at my tiny little tyres. Oh, they are so adorable. <laughs> right, here we go. I started right at the back of the pack, and I immediately got all the way up to, to second place. And I don't know, I don't know how different uh, bikes are. I know the character does actually make it different. I think like the size of the character either means like you have a quicker acceleration or like when you bang into people, if you're smaller, you get knocked around a lot more or something. Uh, so I don't know if I'm, I'm making bad decisions as always being the babies, but I don't really care about how effective it is. I just want to be the funny looking characters, to be honest. And the babies are just so cute. <laughs> All right, if I go quick, if I go down, I can do that jump as well. And then I got my mushroom to get a big speed boost. So this is a great start for me. I am way in the head. And uh, with this map, because it's so small, um, there's a good chance that I can just keep the lead until the end would be lovely. There's also something that I've not mentioned before is I've got a horn. If I press the middle of my gamepad, I do a horn. And I'm kind of scared to do it now because there's cows in the way. Uh, but when I get to an open stretch, I'm going to try out the horn and see uh, whether I got a good horn or not. And I think I need to drift more. I'm, I'm drifting but not bringing up much boost. Like the longer you boost, the bigger your drift is going to be. But I mean, it doesn't matter too much because I got such a big lead. But it would be good just to be so far ahead. No one's got any chance of catching up and I don't like that kite to be honest I think after this race I'm gonna go uh, back to using the flower uh, unless I unlock something better and I am miles ahead and let's do my horn that's pathetic that's hardly a horn at all it just goes like minima, minima, minima. call that a horn and here we go we're on the final lap you know you're on the final lap because the music starts going crazy fast and this music's crazy dodge the cows just about managed to dodge through them all and look at them look at the cows all over the place <laughs> why are the fences on the outside of the track and not in the inside where the cows are and i need to avoid that shell if i can it's whizzing around right in front of me there we go it just got destroyed and i still can't see anyone right if i put a banana right there then it's right in front of the jump so then no one else can really use that jump otherwise they're going to spin out and that ink didn't affect me too much so as long as there's nothing crazy this should be it easily across the finish line oh there is someone actually quite quite close behind me they did do a good job of catching me up but that was a good easy race baby mario takes the lead and look at that crazy little bike <laughs> oh dear i think there's only uh, one more baby for me to to be after this as well then i'll be in all of the baby characters and then i guess i'll i'll be a little bit more adventurous and go and uh, try and be one of the other characters and oh, what's this mario circuit I think this might be one of the one of the old classic remade ones. It kind of looks like it anyway. Uh, this is one of the ones that I haven't played yet before, though, so I have uh, no idea what to expect. It's always more fun that way, though. Like, you can only play these tracks for your first time once, you know? Once you've played it once, you've kind of learned it a little bit. It's always fun going in completely blind and just having no idea what's going to come up. There's <laughs> there's lots of surprises that get thrown at you, and there's so many courses as well. Like, it's going to be a while until I've even played them all yet, and I've still got... Uh, several more cups to even unlock yet, which I'm uh, hopefully going to do by completing uh, this one is the plan. 
Anyway, let's go and try and get my speed up. It looks like quite a small one. I kind of feel like I can see almost the entire track already. And uh, there's lots of big looping turns. It's probably one of the, the easiest uh, tracks I've seen so far. And I think, there was a, I think there was a jump I could have done there to my right. Let me throw that banana behind me in case someone tries to sneak me up. And sorry, birds, didn't mean to just disturb you. And it's weird because it looks like such a normal track. But then you can see in the background, there's like that massive vertical bit. Can you see that there? <laughs> so it's all like kind of a bit tame and normal looking. And then this happens and you end up driving up the walls. But to be honest, half the time I'm riding up the walls like this, you don't even notice it. It's so hard to tell like which way's up and which way's down and stuff. <laughs> and did you see that? I saw people catching up to me then. As I was going down, I saw people coming up and oh no, that is not what I needed. Oh no, look, they're all this close behind me. And we're on the second lap, almost about to go into the third lap. And how how do I get to that other little shortcut place uh, without um, having to go across all of the grass? And can I throw that banana forward? Do you reckon I can get that guy? I think I did. I get him? Oh no, I think the shy guy was just able to avoid it. And look, he's gone in the pit stop to try and get some, some bonus thing and he got a banana from it as well. It probably wasn't worth it for him because I was able uh, to overtake him. And then if I get one more coin, uh, then I'm going to be able to have 10 coins and that's the uh, the most you can have. So I've managed to get back into first place and here we go. I've got my 10 coins and all avoid the banana and they're all close behind me. Uh, but I am in first place going into the final lap. So all I need to do is try and play smart and get lucky. It's as much down to luck as it is skill. And that wasn't very good luck getting taken out. No one's overtook me though. I've still managed to stay in first place even though I just got nailed. And look, I got a mushroom as well. I can go get a massive speed boost and all oh, can I get around the corner and there we go and across the finish line in three two one just across the finish line I avoided that green uh, shell that was hurtling towards me and that is two races and two first places. <laughs> I didn't even mean to make that rhyme then. <laughs> oh dear. So there we go. That's two races down. First place every go. I look set on track, no pun intended, uh, to getting myself a uh, another gold trophy, which would be uh, rather delightful. But I can't get complacent. We still have uh, two more uh, tracks coming up. And uh, this is Cheap Cheap Beach. I think I might have played this one before. I don't know, maybe not. I think I'm thinking of the, the dolphin one, which has got lots of water. And look, what are those weird things? Can you see on the sidelines? <laughs> those weird creatures in hula skirts. They look quite peculiar. Anyway, I can't get distracted by things on the sideline. I need to keep my composure and try and get the lead. No, look, because there's sand. Do you reckon, I think you go slower when you're on the sand. Okay. All right, let's go and try and drift around this corner and try and get my boost up as quick as I can. All right, my strategy this time is to try and get as many coins as quickly as I can and then just try and get so far out in the lead that um, if someone hits me with a shell like that, then I'm still going to be able to stay in the lead. I think that's the only way to have a safe victory where you're so far ahead that even if you do get hit by a shell or something, uh, that you're still able to stay in the lead. And oh look, you can go in the water or on the land. I reckon you're probably quicker on the land, so I'm going to try and stay on the land as much as I can and try and uh, do these jumps. I've only got two coins so far. There we go. And now I've got four coins immediately doubled and there's another one there. I managed to just about get. And so I'm doing okay, I only need uh, five more coins, then I'm going to have all of them. There we go, that gives me two coins, and then I get another one. If I get two more coins now, then I've got ten, and oh no! Gradually working my way up, getting the coins, and then in one move, I just lose all of them. And this person stole all of the coins in front of me. This wasn't the best first lap I've ever had, but I'm still uh, in third place, which is absolutely fine uh, going into the this second lap. And this is the bit I like, where you can either go on the water or the land, and you've got to try and stay right where you are. And there's people behind me. I'm actually throwing the shell at people behind me. I'm not too worried about the person in front of me because they can't really do anything to me and I got plenty of time uh, to overtake them. So I can get a few more coins. Nope, I missed them and then I hit a tree. <laughs> There's like like a massive land everywhere and just a few little tiny palm trees. I managed just to smash right into one. I only need uh, one more coin though and then I can get up to 10. And even though you've got 10 coins, it's always a good idea to pick them all up anyway, uh, because that way you're stopping anyone behind you uh, from picking up the, the coins instead. So it's always worth trying to pick them up. And that is a very tight corner. I just about did it though. I'm definitely getting better. You've got to admit, I am slightly getting better at this game. And oh no, there's not much you can do about that. And that wasn't a good time because we're uh, just about to go into the, the third and final lap now. And I want to try, I want to try and get a clean sweep. I want to try and get uh, first place in all of the maps across the board. And so far, uh, I've done well. All I need to do 
uh, is keep it up for this race and then the one final race after this and uh, then I'll be set and I'm doing really well actually apart from the few stupid mistakes I did earlier like crashing into the tree and stuff I'm actually doing really well look at that I think I did that pretty much perfect oh watch out for the jumping fish <laughs> I nearly hit my own banana that I think I threw down earlier then all right let's avoid the crab if I can there's quite a lot of obstacles actually oh, look I can't even see anyone this is what I wanted to happen I wanted to be so far ahead so that even if someone did come and get me, uh, I would be able to knock them back. Uh, I got a green shell. I don't really need to use it, I guess. I think we're pretty much over the finish line now. Might as well throw it behind me. Look, there's no one even there. There's no one even behind me. This game is too easy. Take that, Daisy and Waluigi. Waluigi? I don't even know who that guy is. Like, I'm so out of touch with Mario games. I played all of the, the really old ones, but I've not really played any of the, the new ones in a while. Actually, I played the... um. I played uh, 3D Land uh, on the 3DS and I completed that game and I really loved that one. I've not uh, played uh, 3D World yet though, uh, which I believe is the, the one on uh, Wii U. And oh look, Toad Turnpike. And let me know if you would like to see me playing any more stuff like that. Like, uh, I've not done many gameplays on the Wii U, and there's uh, quite a few games coming out uh, that look quite interesting. So uh, if you would like to see me doing any more Nintendo things, uh, make sure you, uh, you give me a shout and I can go and play some of them. I do really uh, enjoy Nintendo games. And this one looks cool. Right, what shall I do? I'll, I'll go up the side here. Forget about getting those boxes. And oh no, straight into the wall. Let's see if I can get those coins. Here we go. This is a good way to get my coins up. And there we go. I got one of the, the mystery boxes anyway. Please give me something good. Ah, that's not too bad. And oh, look, I could have jumped onto the back of that bus there. I just about missed it. Right, let's throw that coin down. And oh, look, I can go up this guy's surfboard. <laughs> that is a dangerous way to transport your surfboard. And oh, look, there's the cows from Moo Moo Meadows. <laughs> I reckon those, recognize those cows anywhere. And oh, just about managed to avoid that one there. I don't really need to get another coin. I seem to be going slower for some reason. Is it just me? Do we seem to be going a bit slower than the last race? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I think everyone might be going anyway. I think it just seems a bit slower on this map for some reason. And oh no, please don't get hit by my own shell. Or right, let's see if I can jump on the back of any of these trucks. Oh no, there weren't any in position. And there we go. I was just able to take over that guy. No, no, there's a blue shell. If I go slower, then there we go. The blue shell is going to hit the other person rather than me. There we go. That was pretty sneaky, wasn't it? I don't know if it did hit them. I think it might have hit someone else. I think someone just about got first place and then immediately got hit by the blue shell. So <laughs> it kind of sucks to be them, but I just about uh, managed to avoid it and I got myself some bananas and oh no I guess I can't go down there and oh no down to fourth place this, uh, this isn't looking too good for me actually here okay I managed to get straight up to third place and let's see if I can steal one of this person's mushrooms look check this out if I get really close behind him and oh no he just boosted away for me I think when they're spinning around them like that uh, you can actually steal them but he just about managed to take me over and oh look at this truck here and oh no that wasn't good there we go I still got the the big boost from it anyway though and if I can go straight onto this guy's surfboard no I didn't manage to do that but I can go up the edge round here let's throw that mushroom behind me and can I get on the back of the truck I know it didn't let me do it I didn't uh, like hardly jump off at all but I can have that coin and that will bring me up to to my uh, higher top speed and I'm going to go up the edge around here. I think this might be the, the fastest way to go. It's kind of hard not to, to bang into the walls there, though, to be honest. And let's see how I'm supposed to jump onto the, the trucks. I never seem uh, to be able to get enough air. Can I get onto it? No, no chance whatsoever. I think I might have to go a different route or something in order to do that. Oh, well, I'm in the final lap, and I'm in first place. All I need to do is not muck up now, and I'm going to have a perfect streak for this Grand Prix, which I don't think I've ever done before. Uh, certainly not uh, while well recording anyway, so even if I had done it before, you might not have believed me. <laughs> right, I got a good drift there. I didn't get any boost from it, though, and I still can't see anyone. Right, let's try not to bang into any walls this time. It's always kind of hard when you're driving on the, the side like this and try and bounce my way off. There we go. I got a bit of a, a boost from that, and there we go. Across the finish line. A perfect run. I'm rather proud of myself, to be honest. <laughs> Hopefully uh, you're proud of me as well. And so there we go. I did it as Baby Mario. And so let's just go through the uh, the formality, shall we? Let's go and view results. Uh, we're going to get a little highlight reel, which I'm going to watch uh, of some of my best moments from the Grand Prix. And then I'm going to be awarded my trophy, which I believe, unless, I don't know, the game goes crazy, I believe I'm going to get given a, uh, a gold trophy. And there we go. Look at my tiny little wheels. They look so ridiculous. It's trying to show all these little dramatic angles, like all these really cool moments. And you can just see me there, one smashing into a truck by my little tiny little wheels as me of baby Mario. And this is me trying to jump on the trucks and failing. Look at that. First place, first place, first place, first place. That is the way Stampy does it. Shell 
Cup champion. <laughs> I'm actually really proud of myself. I did that so well. There wasn't even any races where I was close to losing, so I did very good. I have a feeling, though, that the next Grand Prix might not be uh, quite as easy as that one is. And what I think I might do, as uh, soon as I'm having so much fun, I might just go straight through and do all of the Grand Prix. And the next one is going to be the Banana Cup. And I got a new character. I got a stamp. Stampy got a stamp. <laughs> and look at that, 60 points. Second place only had 45. Three gold stars. Stampy Cat is your champion. That's the end of this video here. There'll be a link in the description to my next Grand Prix Mario Kart 8 video if you want to go check it out. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later.